ESPR and Blender. This is another in the series of tutorials from Strategies for Deploying Virtual Representations of the Built Environment. To find out more, go to the website. In this video, we focus on the interplay between ESPR and Blender. Blender is an open source CAD environment which runs on many different operating systems. And although most folk associate it with animations and virtual product displays, it can also work with buildings, furniture, and landforms. Blender has built-in editing and creation facilities, but it's also able to import entities created in other tools. Of interest is the Wavefront object file format, which can host information about both form and composition. And it so happens that ESPR is able to export wavefront object files containing all or part of an ESPR model. Why would we want to jointly work with ESPR and Blender? Well, clarity for simulation tool users as well as their clients, that's a big driver. What we often see in simulation are wireframe views. We get the overall layout of the building and rooms Inevitably, buildings come across as a collection of thin elements. Some entities, like shading blocks and visual bodies, that are included to work with things like radiance, they have to be 3D bodies. Surfaces and zones, not so much. ESPR, like many simulation tools, has lots of attribution associated with the entities inside, including their composition. But these are often just shown to us in terms of names and numbers. To ensure the quality of models and better understand the actual complexity of buildings, it helps to have an alternate view. Of course, for more than a decade, ESBR has included the export of models to Radiance, and it has a module called E2R, which can drive Radiance to accomplish some common tasks. Radiance is a visual simulation suite which can support any number of visual assessments, but it is compute intensive. If you want to know more about ESBR and Radiance, have a look at that video. Let's take the case of an ESP model of a terrace of houses. It's been set up and rendered by way of ESBR's E2R module. Such renderings can, in many ways, supplement the visual wireframe images we see in ESBR's interface. But if we look closer, the facade is still largely expressed by way of thin components. And this is where Blender comes in. When an ESBR surface is included in a wavefront object file, the compositional attributes are used to extrude the polygon as a solid body. To demonstrate this, let's take a simple facade, as many users would create them in ESPR, where the glass and the frame and the wall are all in the same plane. Results in, wow, this is a thick wall. We've got a window frame midway through it. That's a really deep window reveal. And that's not captured in the ESPR zone description. A better ESPR model would make the reveals explicit. And there's a facility to create such explicit reveals in ESBR. Of course, one would also need to associate the surface's composition of the reveal with a construction that takes into account the heat flows through the fa facade near the window frame. When we export that and work with it in Blender, the image is very much the same. Enough background. Let's follow a typical session. Context is a terrace of older homes, which are being refurbished with factory assembled cladding panels. Let's open up this model. It's our standard thin view of the world. However, if we go to Export Model, one of the options here is Wavefront.
the suggested name. And ask me some questions. Do I want to represent separate construction layers within it? I can say yes. I can say no. For this, let's just say no. Do I want to include glazing as a body? So in this case, I'm going to omit the glass so it's much easier to see inside once we get into Blender. Include comments. Yes, I want to make sure that the entities I see in Blender are well commented. I don't need to use millimeter dimensions. Now, use center line if coplanar partitions. So this is a notation that says if surfaces from different zones actually coincide in the same plane, or what it'll do is uh, assume that plane is the center line of the construction. I'm going to say yes for that. I also have the option as each surface is presented to say whether or not I want to treat it at the inside, center, or outside. In this case, there are lots of surfaces. I'm going to say no. And what do I want to include? All. Continue with each of the ones. I'm going to say no to this particular zone, and I'll show you why in a moment. And what we have are two new files here. So I, what I want to do is start Blender. So the interface in Blender always starts with a single block, which I'll delete. And then I go into File, Import, Wavefront, and then I'm given a selection list. And there's my files. Now, before I choose that, I want to set Y forward and Z up. And I pick that and I say, please import that object file. And here's what I get. Now, what I want to do is in Blender, I'll pick an individual surface by left clicking on it and then I'll type the tab to go into edit mode. I'll untip tab and I'll type the character A for all. And then I'm going to go into mesh, normals, and reset factors. This is necessary on some models to, to reduce some artifacts in there. So I do that. And then... Okay, now we're back in object mode, and here's my view now. So my Blender model includes the thickness of all the various components in there. But it looks a bit weird in some ways. What's going on here? There's this gap. This corner of the building is not like that. Oh, and I've got gaps here between, oh, that's between the ceiling and the floor. Oh, and there's another gap there between this room and that room. What's going on? These are all of those physical gaps within the simulation model. What I don't see in the Blender view are the things that are not being accounted for in the thermal model. The real building is going to have heat flow through that gap. So I need somehow to represent that. I could do it potentially as a thermal bridge within the simulation environment or something else. So let me just save this as it is.
Okay, and back where we were before to the project manager. Let's do. Some, what do we do about those gaps? One is that I could create a bunch of visual bodies, or the technique I've used in this particular model is to create a zone with surfaces at the locations of those gaps. And then I attribute those surfaces with the relevant kind of facade. If When I export to Blender, then those gaps should disappear. Now, this thermal zone I wouldn't necessarily include in my thermal analysis. What I want to do is go back to my export facility and to Wavefront. And I'm going to say gaps filled. Same thing here. For this one, let's do the separate construction layers. Uh, no glazing, comments, don't need it in millimeters, yes for coplanar, uh, no to confirm. All, in this case, I'll just accept yes for each of those. And we'll go back and start Blender up. Delete that. Import Wavefront. And there is our gaps version again. Y forward, Z up. Pick on the object and import. Okay, now we immediately see um, that in general we're filled in and there are fewer gaps. Now, there are still some artifacts in here. I haven't put in something for uh, that corner, that junction at that slope and vertical. This is a little bit awkward. Again, there's a corner there, but here we find the other big use for going to Blender. Look at this end wall here. Ground floor, pretty much working out. The um, surfaces are aligned there, but I've got one that's projecting out much more than the others. And therefore, that's a mistake in the attribution of my original thermal model. I didn't notice it in words and text, but in terms of Blender, it shows up. And therefore, um, that allows me to focus in on what is this one that I'm picking up here. Okay, so that's in apartment, a bath, fire, and that one is apartment, a bedroom three, firewall. Because I included the commentary inside of the things, the naming scheme within Blender is matching my thermal model, and therefore it's much more straightforward to go back and revise my original model. I will save that.